How's everyone doing? Today I'll be reviewing VHS Viral. VHS Viral is the third installment in the VHS franchise. And if you've seen VHS Viral, definitely let me know what you think of it as well. And I've already reviewed VHS and VHS 2, so if you want to check out those reviews, you can click right here and they'll bring you to the reviews. But now let's get on to VHS Viral. VHS Viral is another horror anthology movie utilizing the found footage video style and VHS Viral utilizes a completely different wraparound story for this installment. The wraparound story for VHS Viral is called Vicious Circles and it's directed by Marcel Sarmiento who directed Dead Girl. And in Vicious Circles you follow an ice cream truck that is driving around the town creating chaos and being chased by the police. And there's this young guy who sees this chase going on so of course he decides to go chase after the ice cream truck and film it along with a bunch of other people who decide to chase it as well and film it because they all want that viral video. And it's shot from a bunch of different perspectives and it shows a bunch of other people filming videos trying to create viral videos. Personally, I didn't care for this wraparound story. I don't think that it worked for the VHS franchise. It was a completely different style, and it really left more questions than answers. I really wish they would have gone more in depth and explained why these videos affect you the way that they do. In the first two VHS movies, the wraparound story is basically people breaking into a house and watching tapes. And this one right here is just completely different. They're trying for that whole societal impact right now with viral videos being so huge. And they're trying to make that a, a message here. And while the first two wraparound stories for the VHS movies were kind of, you know, basic, it worked because it set up the next segments. And that really just didn't work with this one here, uh, the way that the wraparound story was. It just kind of threw out these other videos and other segments. They did a poor job of tying all the segments together and it really just felt disjointed. The first segment is called Dante the Great, and it's directed by Greg Bishop, who directed Dance of the Dead, which is a great zomcom that I would highly recommend. And Dante the Great is about a magician who's basically a nobody, and he finds this magic cloak that apparently belonged to Houdini, and it gives him all these supernatural powers. And from there, he goes from being a nobody to being a big star, and he's loving it, and then he realizes the cloak is more than what it seems, and it wants more from you. One of the biggest issues I have with this segment is the fact that the mixture of filming styles really doesn't work here. You have the faux documentary style, the found footage style, and then uh, some that's not found footage style at all, and it just looks too polished and clean for the VHS franchise. While it was creative and it had good acting, there was no scares here, and again, that was another thing that made it feel out of place for the VHS franchise. The next segment is called Parallel Monsters, and it's directed by Nacho Vigalando, who directed Time Crimes. And Parallel Monsters is about a guy that creates this machine that opens up a doorway to another universe. And he meets a parallel him in this other universe. So when he meets the parallel universe version of himself, they decide to go ahead and switch places for 15 minutes and go into each other's worlds and just check things out and see how it is. And they do that and at first everything seems fine and normal and then things get crazy. <laughs> It had the chance to be really creepy, uh, but it takes a left-hand turn and gets over the top and becomes ridiculous. And the last segment is called Bone Storm, which is also the title of the video game which Bart shoplifts in The Simpsons, which reminded me of that. Bone Storm involves a few kids who are skateboarders and they get kicked out of uh, different skate parks around them. And they decide to go to Tijuana and film themselves skateboarding. And while they're there, uh, they get involved with the death cult and they have to fight all these undead creatures and uh, the creatures look really cool the skeleton and uh, the gore effects work here uh, it's very action uh, and fast paced and it felt a bit rushed honestly and they use these GoPro cameras to film it and that seems to be a popular uh, filming uh, mechanism now where they're using these GoPro cameras all the time I think the editing could have been better here but I do think that you know even though I'm complaining about the shaky cam and the editing and all that it fits more in line to the VHS franchise. It feels more like a, uh, a proper segment than the other segments involved in this uh, VHS viral uh, installment. And I like how Bone Storm takes place in the daytime. That's pretty unique. You don't really see that for stories like this. And I like some of the action sequences as well. There's a lot of blood splurting around. It was definitely entertaining. It had some good action, some awesome fight sequences, some good gore effects. Uh, but overall, it left me wanting more and again felt very rushed. Adam Wingard and Simon Barrett, who wrote and directed in the first two VHS movies, were not involved at all in VHS Viral, so that might account for why this one had a different feel than the previous VHS movies. VHS Viral is easily the weakest and has the worst wraparound story of the VHS franchise. 
VHS Viral also had the overall weakest stories and the weakest scares. None of the segments were really scary. A couple of them had the potential to be scary, but it just really didn't follow through with that. There was also only three segments in VHS Viral, while in VHS the original there was five segments, and in VHS 2 there was four segments. There was actually originally supposed to be in another segment in this movie, uh, but that was from Todd Lincoln called Gorgeous Vortex, and that was apparently not used in the final cut of the movie. It was apparently about a serial killer. I don't know why it wasn't used. Uh, if anybody does know, let me know. And overall, it did feel like something was missing here with only the three segments. In the first two VHS movies, there were standout segments. Again, Safe Haven was by far my favorite of all the VHS uh, segments going out through the franchise. Uh, but this one right here, VHS Viral, had really no standout segments in my opinion. Nothing that's really going to, you know, stay on your mind and something that you can rewatch as a standalone segment. And I wish they would have taken a more serious tone overall. VHS Viral is worth checking out. It has some creative ideas, some interesting things going on here. But overall, it isn't quite up to par to the previous two VHS movies. I do hope they make more VHS movies in the future and get back on track. Overall, I give VHS Viral a 6.5 out of 10 stars. If you've seen VHS Viral, definitely let me know what you think of it as well. Leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care.